if they couldn't make this work, what in the hell do they think is going to work with the next one? They're still looking for love? Give me a break. Welcome back to a special edition of Bachelor Grandma Recap. Grandma, you're back. I'm back, and I didn't expect to be back so soon. I knew I'd be back because I knew that marriage would not last. But they should have at least gone on the honeymoon. I would have gone on the honeymoon and taken all the perks. Okay, slow your roll. You no, are- I'm on a roll, baby. She okay. was on a roll this morning. All right, Grandma. So we're doing a special edition because Gary and Teresa announced on Good Morning America this morning that they are getting a divorce three yes. months after their wedding. So, yes. Grandma, you're telling me you're not surprised at all? No, and I'm just so sad. Are you sad? Oh, no, I'm not sad. I, You know what? I think she woke up and smelled the coffee. Okay. saw glitz and glamour when she was in LA and, you know, and he looked really great. I thought he looked a little hokey today. I thought he looked very hokey. So you're not buying the fact that they still love each other, yeah. but they yeah. just decided to mutually split. You're not yeah. buying that. I'm not buying any of it. No, no, no. I think they went for it. Uh... I definitely think he went for it and he's back to living in Indiana at his house. She's got her beautiful, I've seen her home there. It looks beautiful. She doesn't want to leave it to live in his little cabin there. So, you know, I don't understand if they really loved each other, they could be like snowbirds. They could live in his place and live in her place. Older people do that. You know, snowbirds, they go and stay in the desert with their trailers and then they come back to their home. So why didn't they do that? I don't know. Let's talk about the interview. So I'm going to read you what Gary said. Gary said, quote, Teresa and I have had a number of heart to heart conversations and we've looked closely at the situation, our living situation and so forth. And we've kind of come to the conclusion mutually that it's probably the best to just dissolve our marriage probably did you catch that he said probably yeah he said probably yeah I, I don't know what that was all about so you're not buying it but you're not shocked though because no I'm not oh I'm not I'm not shocked I'm just surprised it's so soon I thought it would come in about a year I thought maybe after the honeymoon and uh you know he got a little more money out of the deal yeah I I, I have felt that way from day one about him I, I, you know how I felt about him. So do you think it was about him from the beginning that I did not care for? My antenna. But you did like him in the beginning. And then as the episodes went on, you found him a little suspicious because remember, we can't forget that we thought he was going to pick Leslie. And then all of a sudden he picks Teresa and then they got married so fast. Why get married so fast? I don't know. And you know, that was probably overwhelming to them. Definitely. And and there's been rumors that he's seen some other ladies. What? (laughs) On Facebook, people have been posting that, that he's been uh, seen with Leslie. I mean, it it could be gossip. I know. Okay. So yeah, we have to preference that, that it could be gossip, grandma. We don't know. I know. I I have to be careful what I say. You're back and you know, we have- I'm back, I'm back, I'm back. And I'm probably going to be even pissier than usual. Oh yeah, you are in a little mood today. You're a little spicy. I'm spicy. Well, I was rushing to get ready. You called me early this morning and said, we're on, baby. We're We're on, on, baby. And you know, I'm in Atlanta right now. You're in California. Yes. All the fans were wondering where you went for this past bachelor. So I was like, grandma, we have to get your hot take. Yes. And I'm glad to be back, fans. I'm back. I hope you start watching again and giving me all your likes. I'm I'm back. You're only back for this this special that's edition. It? That's oh, it. Fans, fans write in and demand me back because I've been just relaxing, doing nothing. Oh yeah, you're a pretty busy woman. I wouldn't say that oh, you're, just, woman you're doing just nothing. Doing nothing. Spinning webs. Spinning webs. You are gonna be back for the golden bachelorette though. But okay. grandma, do you think any of this has to do with the fact that all that stuff came out about Gary? Remember yes. what we- At the finale, there was this big expose article basically alleging that he is not who he says he was. He did date someone after his wife's death. Teresa in the interview with Good Morning America said she didn't know about it. And this split has nothing to do with that. But do you think 
maybe it does. Oh, I think so. I, I think actually they got to know each other. And I really think she got to know him. And she's an intelligent lady. She runs her own business. She She's out there. And I don't think he, he brought enough enough to the to the plate you know she has more you think it was more. Teresa that called it off you know what I I think maybe it was Teresa I really do I think she woke up I really think she woke up because then maybe that's why she was so calm and cool about it in the interview and he was calm and cool about it because maybe he does maybe he's seeing someone else maybe he went back to Leslie we don't know yeah, and maybe he's seen the old girlfriend that he was fooling around with uh, before all this even started back there in Indiana. They said in the interview that, you know, people thought they brought a lot of hope to the older generation. Look well, at they, love. Of course, of course, there should be hope out there for the old folk. But they, Grandma, does this strip that hope away from you now? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. All, I just went down the drain, all that hope. I was just, I was just hoping so much that Mr. Wonderful would be knocking on the door. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. All right. Yes. Yes. I took all the hope out of my heart. I cried. I cried. I was hysterical. You know, you know me. You've known me a long time. I'm just well, a very... Well, yeah, you're my grandmother. I yeah. think I've known and you my I mean, whole life. I mean, you got to know everything about me. And I'm a very independent woman. And I respect both sides. If I think Teresa was really looking for love. She was lonely, but I think she should just learn to stand on her own two feet and find happiness in her own heart. Okay. Cause yeah. I was going to say at the end of the interview, they did say that they will both. They're going to go out there and look for love again, which did not make any sense to me. If they couldn't make this work, what in the hell do they think is going to work with the next one? I mean, that, that, did not. I couldn't stop laughing when I heard that. I couldn't stop laughing. They're still looking for love. Give me a break. I mean, make it work with them. I mean, they don't have a lot of time left here. The Grandma. clock is ticking, people. The clock is going tick tock, tick tock. Okay, so then what did you think about them holding hands the entire oh, time? I, I That was another one that wanted to put my finger down the throat and puke. Yeah, I mean, really, they, they they were just clutching to each other. Oh, and then they said they still love each other. Well, if they still love each other, he's what, 70 some years old? She's 70 some years old? Yeah. They make it work in the next 10 years and be in the, oh, they could they could be in the home together for the, in another 10 years, and that solves their location problem. Their children could put them in a home together. Oh, and Grandma. location problem. You are a spitfire. Grandma's hot takes. All right, Grandma, before we let you go, anything else? Anything else you just need to get off your chest? Well, no, I, I'm looking forward to coming back. When am I coming back? In September or October? Yes. Okay, so you're going to come back for the Golden Bachelorette. We're going to start recapping that. We're going to bring you up in the studio in Los Angeles, and it's going to be okay. a whole thing. So Grandma's fans out there, don't worry. She will be back. I'm drinking water because it's very early here in California. Yeah, don't but, drink alcohol. Uh, I'd be a little concerned. No, no, it's too early. I'll start at, at 5 o'clock, but it's 5 o'clock somewhere. 